Today I'm going to show you how to make gradients on Procreate as easily and efficiently as possible. And we're starting right now. Welcome everyone, my name is Leo and I'm the creator behind Ghost Paper. And welcome to another Procreate Tips and Tricks video series. In the world of digital illustration, gradients can be extremely necessary when we're finishing a new piece of artwork. Even though Procreate is a great design tool that offers us the freedom to draw, paint, distort, and color correct our images, it doesn't really have an icon or a feature that generates gradients on itself. So I'm going to show you what I think is the current and easiest way to make gradients without having you to spend too much time on the program. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and to also turn on the bell notifications so you don't miss any of these tips. Also, if you enjoy uh, these kinds of videos, make sure to check this link here on the top right corner of the video as I'm putting the playlist of all the tips and tricks that I currently have on Procreate. So the more I make uh, these videos, the bigger the library of knowledge in this playlist will be. And that is all for you to just learn so that we can learn together. Also speaking about learning, let me know in the comment section down below what is the topic that you would like to see in future videos for uh, tips and tricks on Procreate and I'll try my best to answer uh, everyone and add these to the list of content. But now without any further ado, let's jump into Procreate so I can show you how this is done. Okay, now that we're here, I just wanna quickly first show you what we can do with just two color values. So first I'm gonna create a new layer, which is already here, and I'm just gonna pick two random colors. I'm gonna get this blue right here. And then I'm going to create another layer and I'm going to pick my second color, which will be uh, brighter red. So now, as you can see, I've got two layers. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit, select my red layer, and I'm going to just bring it down to uh, the point where I want to start blending the gradients. So now I have it uh, just about half here, just so you can see. And where we're gonna go now within the red layer selected, we're just gonna go, uh, we're going to go into the adjustments and look for a Gaussian blur. And now by tweaking that blur all the way uh, to the maximum, that's where we're going to generate our gradient. So that's, that's one way to, uh, to generate a gradient with uh, two values. So now you could just uh, merge the two layers with a pinch, uh, making sure you select both layers. And now you have your first gradient with two values. So now the process of making um, one with multiple colors is pretty much the same. In this case, we're gonna start with the red here. Uh, you can make another layer and kind of create rectangles if you like so. So we're just gonna make one right here. I'll set it about um, this much and then we are going to make another one and I'll set it to maybe uh, this one's gonna look pretty crazy let's see how this turns out hopefully not a blended mess <laughs> so let's put blue at the very end and now what uh, what I have to do because I have now so many uh, values here I'm just gonna blend them all together into one layer and now doing the same trick with the Gaussian blur, I'm just gonna drag it all the way to, uh, to basically where I want to. As you can see here, like if I leave it at 50%, you'll still get a little bit of all the colors and all the shades, but if you bring it all the way to the maximum, I hope my arm's not covering too much here, um, you start to have like a full, full blend of all the values and some values might actually uh, blend it so much that you start to lose them in a way. Basically like a smoother finish, you may like that more than to have all the, uh, seeing all the streaks of the gradient. And the last thing that I wanna show you is that sometimes you may uh, want to generate a gradient within a shape because right now all that we're doing is that we're generating gradients within the full on canvas. Say like as if we were painting a background element, a background sky. So in order to achieve this, we're gonna go back to our layers manager here. This is our gradient layer. That's what we want to be uh, within a mask. Uh, our circle here is gonna be the shape that we want as a mask and the middle layer will be our magic trick. So the first thing we wanna do is click on the gradient layer 
and you're going to select clipping mask and you see points this little arrow down to where we uh, were going to do our magic. Then I'm going to click on the shape that we want to make a mask off and I'm going to select uh, the option select now so that we have a mask and now you can drag any color to make a fill and now we have our gradient within a shape. And that's pretty much how you make um, the gradient now within the shape. It can be any shape that you create and now you can move the mask and you see that you get the different values of your gradient, which is really, really nice. And another way as well, as if you don't wanna move the, uh, the selection mask per se, is that you can click on the gradient itself and then move the gradient up and down until you find you know, the nicest result for, your, uh, for whatever image that you are creating. So that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed the content. And if you did, it would be super helpful if you could leave a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And make sure to check the videos here on the right side. There's a couple recommended videos that I'm, I think you may enjoy as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Ciao.